Hey everybody, this is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Limit Login Attempts plugin in order to limit login attempts. This plugin is used to stop brute force login attempts in their tracks. So how it works is really what the name says. It's, it's designed to limit login attempts. So for example, this is a standard WordPress login form, and I'm going to just try logging in with my incorrect name and an incorrect password. And as you can see, it says error, the password you entered for the username Bjorn is incorrect. So we can try again and it shows the message again. And we try again and it shows it again, over and over. I can try as many times as I want and it's just gonna keep showing me the same error until I get it right. So from a hacker's perspective, they can have a program running that just tries a million passwords. And then eventually, if they're lucky, they get they guess the right one. And that's called a brute force login. Because it is brute force to win. There's this pound of login form with passwords, hoping to get the right one. To prevent that, we limit how many times someone can enter the incorrect password. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And let's install the limit login attempts plugin. So if you hover over plugins and then click on add new, in the search bar type in limit login attempts and that should bring it up. And there it is. It's been, it hasn't been updated recently, but it still works. The, the only time updates really need to happen is when it doesn't work or when there's a security vulnerability, but this, still works and at the end of this video I'll show you an alternative plugin that's updated regularly. It's much more robust. The limit login attempts plugin just does one thing, all it does is limit logins. The other plugin is a full-fledged security plugin that also limits logins. So you may not want to go that intense, but at the end of this video I'll tell you what the plugin is, just in case you do want to go that route. So for now we're just going to install the limit login attempts plugin. Click on activate. And under settings in the left hand side, it added the limit login attempts menu item. We're going to go there. The default settings should be allowed or should be good enough. So total lockouts currently no lockouts because we just installed it. How many times are you allowed to try before you're locked out? Four times. If you're locked out, for how many minutes are you locked out? That's this field here. So if I try four times, get the password wrong four times in a row, I have to wait 20 minutes before I can try again. And then if, her, if after that 20 minutes, I try four more times and I'm locked out four times, I then have to wait however many hours are in this field, in this case, 24 hours. So these default lockout timeframes and retries, those are all fine. The site connection, this is checked by default. So we connect directly to the site. We're not behind a reverse proxy. So the, the plugin detected that, so we don't have to change this setting here. Handle the cookie login, which is uh, cookies essentially store information on your computer or a website is allowed to store information on your computer via a cookie. So if you are logged into your site, there's a cookie put on your site so you don't have to log in every time you go to a new page. The website knows you're logged in. So you can go away for a while and then come back and still have that cookie and be automatically logged in. So this allows that to happen. And then when there is a lockout that happens, you log the IP by default, but you can also email the admin after someone's been locked out four times. So we're gonna keep, all I did was uh, add the email admin option, but the default options are fine. You can keep them at, as default. And now we're gonna see what happens on a live login page. If I refresh the page, if I now enter the wrong password, it should show me how many login attempts I have left. So here it says incorrect username and password, three login attempts remaining. Let's try again. Two logins. One attempt remaining. And now after after doing four in a row, it says too many login, too many failed login attempts. Please try again in 20 minutes. So now 
I'm locked out of the site. Luckily, there's a way to go into the database. You have to go into your hosting account, into the PHP My Admin section, and play around directly in the MySQL database. But you can unlock your own user account if you ever find you're locked out. If you have really serious lockout preferences here, like if this is set to 9,999 hours before you can try again, and you lock yourself out of your own site, you're kind of hooped. So it's a good idea to know how to fix that if that ever happens. But if we refresh this page, it should now show that someone has been locked out. And it doesn't because I myself have been locked out and I have to wait 19 minutes. So in 19 minutes from now, I will show you what that page says. And in the next video I make, I will show you how to fix the login lockout manually in the database. I'm not going to make you wait for 19 minutes, obviously. I'm just going to pause the video, start it up again when the lockout is over. Okay, so the lockout is over. I know it says two minutes, but I'm just going to refresh the page and the lockout will be over. And this also illustrates the benefit of using an app like LastPass that I've talked about in one of the previous videos that just remembers your passwords for you and logs you into your website without you having to worry about it. So if I refresh the page, LastPass is working and it logged me in automatically. And now we're going to check to see what the plugin says about the lockout that just happened. So as you can see, it added total lockouts, one lockout since last reset. And if you scroll down to the bottom, it shows a log. It shows the IP of the person or the computer I was trying to log in. And it shows the username they were trying to log in as. So that's really all you need to know about the limit login attempts. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to manually unblock yourself if you do get locked out. But as a preventative measure, so you never get locked out, you could try using an app like LastPass. I've been using it for years now, and I've never been locked out of any of my admin accounts because it remembers my passwords for me. I hope this video helps you. Please subscribe to our channel, check out our social media, and follow us, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.